Okay, so we left you two weeks ago, guys, as we were releasing the uh, small part from the mold. Um, that did actually come out quite well, but unfortunately we had to leave the garage quicker than we wanted. So it's not quite, quite as formed or as thick as we'd like, so there's going to be a bit more work on that. We've now got it back over to the dock, um, secured and strapped down so it's all nice and safe and it's not going to blow away anywhere. What we're going to do next is uh, actually build a wooden frame to hold all of this up so that we can make the dimensions that we're going to need for the metal supports. Whether we use stainless steel or aluminium, this is still up in the air because of different materials available here. Hi, I'm Erica and this is my fiancé Dave. We are living aboard our new to us Hurricane Damage Catamaran, Barefoot 2.0. We met in Fiji three years ago and have experienced so many beautiful places together. For the past two years, we've made the ocean our home, starting on our Catalina 36 in the States and the Northern Caribbean. We hope to one day circumnavigate the globe, but for now we are fixing our boat one step at a time. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. When faced with a challenge, look for a way, not a way out. Well, at the moment I'm trying to build a frame, like a temporary frame, that we've got the, uh, obviously we've got the parts now for the hard top, they still need a bit more work, but we're going to do a, like a dry run, a dry fit, so we can work out where all the strengthening points are going to need to be, the heights that we want it and that sort of stuff. Um, I did a rough calculation at seven feet at the back, but just putting that piece up, it just seems stupidly high. Yeah. I, don't, I think that's too high for the... That's way too high. Way too high I know we're only short, but... I know, but there is a little 10 centimeter sort of overlap that comes down the side, so it won't appear to be as high. Yeah. But it still would be there. I think it's a bit much, so I'm just going to have it. Nearly lost the only tape measure overboard. <laughs> that would have been a disastrous morning. Because that's way too high there. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So, my calculation is that pencil mark there would mean it would be flat from back to front if it was seven feet. Right, let's get that a bit closer. And then that gives a viewing window of one, one and a half feet. Whereas really I want it there. Is that much? Which means we need to cut off five and a half inches lower. Five and a half inches. And that will give us a one and a half foot, or just under 1.4 a viewing win window and it will then mean that the, the hard top itself is actually reasonably flat which we want because of the rain catchment system and stuff we don't actually want it weird angle at a weird angle when it reasonably flat so I'm gonna go and cut five and a half inches off these two poles and then we can uh, have a play have a play with it It's a bit flimsy. Oh, it's not finished. I gotta strengthen it a bit. Do you need me? Oh. Oh. oh, up a little. You okay? Yeah. Okay. A little forward. Nah. A little back. A little back. Yeah, that's back it. That's there. it. That's there. Yeah. Right. Just hold it there for a second, guys. Look at you. 
and your new heart. I love it. No kidding. Right He's off good. the bat, eh? He's good. Yeah. Look, it's got the right angle going across there. I guess he's got to be good at something. I <laughs> what did you just say? He's got to be good. He's got to be good at something. Nothing. <laughs> it wasn't even me this time. It's not bad as far as square goes, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. This one's that's, it's the smaller half has a dip in the middle. It's not strong enough. It needs an extra support or strengthening. But the the bigger one actually has the right contour. Look at that, eh? Yeah, looks really good. So we did cut five and a half inches off the two back support posts, but after having some of our taller friends on board, we realized that we should have that extra five and a half inches. So we are going to make different supports once we put the hard top back up. So right now we are preparing for this tropical storm, uh, Laura, that's threatening to come and hit us again like uh, tropical storm Isaiah did. Um, so we're going to take it off, we're going to secure it on to the floating dock um, and get everything else sorted out. It's so nice having it up though because as it's raining right now we're not getting wet. It's so nice. We don't want to take, it, take down. it down. I know. <laughs> but can't win all the time, right? So we'll put it back up after the storm threat has passed and uh, we'll continue working on it. But for now, hurricane, well, tropical storm prep. Running the engine to charge up the battery so that we're nice and full in case we do have to move the boat on channel 68, just in case anyone needs assistance. We have the buckets up because it does tend to rain inside, so we have buckets here and one on the sofa just in case. We have the rain jackets out. We are going to go to town and just make sure we have enough cash and some other supplies just in case things are shut down again like it was last time. So after uh, Tropical Storm Isaiah's, the uh, ATM didn't work for a few days, so we wanna make sure we have enough cash and supplies, just in case. Come here. So this is kind of the calm before the storm, eh? Super calm. Normally by this time of the day, we've got a definite breeze coming out of the east-northeast. This morning, it's just dead still. Dead still. Everyone's been prepping their boats, been watching everyone, checking all their stuff on deck, dropping extra anchors. And yeah, We've yeah. got our stuff sorted out. We're all tidied up, ready to go. Yep. Lines are all secured. Just need to go to town, get rid of some rubbish. There's actually a boat coming um, into Love Canal at the moment as well. So everyone says this is a really good spot because um, there's a lot of protection from the mangroves. So there's a little sailboat on its way in right now. Don't know where they're going to drop, but we'll see. Just don't go too close to me and uh -huh. drag into me. Yeah, just be behind us, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> just be behind us, that's all that matters. But yeah, this is it's a calm, beautiful morning. Apart from the bugs. Apart from the bugs. The no CMs are brutal. Um, so just as a little update here, it is now 5 p.m. in the evening. There's still no winds, no nothing. Um, so we're taking advantage of some of the rain and we're scrubbing the boat. Ew, that's who, gross. Who said we? Who said we? Well, if you keep making comments like that, you can do it all by yourself. Puerto Rico, a friend of ours, uh, Brian, he gave us this old reserve parachute. Yeah, it's, um, a, it's an old Marines uh, backup chute, I think. Yeah. So he didn't want it, well, his wife didn't want it on board anymore. So <laughs> it had to find a new home and... I took it. Davey took it and now we actually have some sort of use for it, I guess. Um, or we're going to try and we're use gonna it. We're going to try. So it's way too hot working here on the dock. So we're going to try and put this parachute up as a sunshade. Um, string it up between two boats, so this should be fun. 
Um, <laughs> Eric from Music and Lyrics is on the way over to give us a hand. Yeah. Um, yeah, should be some fun and games trying to get this up. I need some shade to be able to work on this yeah. hard top. It's too hot. It's way too hot. It's really, really nice, as you might notice. We do have the oh, bigger up. half of the, the hard top. The bigger half is up, up. But it's not finished either. This needs to come back down and be strengthened a little bit more. But it's nice having the shade on the boat at the moment. And Puppy loves it too. Yeah. She can be outside. So. Belly rubs! Belly slabs. Hello! I want to be a YouTube star! But for now I'm going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Legs aren't long enough, are they? So, my plan, Eric. And you tell me what you think should be done differently. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we're just building a teepee or a tent. Um, so I've got one hand here. Right. Um, I believe this parachute is actually round. If you look, that is the, that is the center lifting point. Okay. So we have this area here, which I was thinking of connecting halyard from us on this one, halyard from them also on this one, and then we should be able to adjust the height and the the angle so that it basically dangles over the middle of the. Uh, right. Save your life if you jumped out of an airplane and your first shoot didn't come out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just don't fall in the water. No, please do. You make for a great show. Not too shabby. Shut up, will you? Little guard dog. It's enough, it's Eric. Can you swim? Yeah, she can actually. She didn't like it though. So we're going to do some strengthening work on the small part of the hard top today. Um, so we did look for a honeycomb um, center as a core to use. Uh, we have managed to find it in this country, but it's way too expensive. Uh, we are on a budget and we've got to do this within our budget. So what we've decided to do to strengthen it up, I'm going to be using this quarter inch MDF. Now this isn't standard MDF, like most MDFs when it gets wet, it actually just disintegrates and sort of fluffs up and doubles in size and it destroys itself. But this is a waterproof. Um, this piece, for example, here has actually been out in two storm, two tropical storms. It's got wet, it's got soaked. And as you can see, the only place it's discolored is slightly here where it was actually sat in the mud, but it hasn't changed shape or form or taken on any water whatsoever. So I'm gonna cut this into strips. I'm gonna put strips around the outside here, just to thicken up the outside. I'm also gonna put some strips in this way, which I'll show you in a moment once I've started cutting them. Uh, but this is just to give it some more rigidity and then once they're, they're in, I'm going to glue them in with 50 to 200 and then once they're in and they've dried, what we'll do is we'll glass over the whole thing from underneath one more time. Then we'll be able to turn it back over and do all the sanding and fairing so that she'll be, she'll be ready to install and we can do the same then to the bigger piece. Okay, so I've cut out all the pieces of quarter inch MDF that I'm gonna be using for strengthening. This section here, I've decided to do it as a full piece. Um, that's because the actual back fixing for the, uh, the back support goes in that section. I'm not sure exactly where to the millimeter. I will thicken it up even more for that when needed. The rest of it, I've just gone with the little strips here and that'll be enough just to stiffen it up. And uh, once I'm, I'm gonna glue these in now with 5200, uh, once these are glued in, then tomorrow everything will be nice and dry, and I'm going to re-glass everything. So I'm going to glass over all of this, up over the lips, over the tops, re-glass absolutely everything. I'm also going to be putting in a support here at the sides, which is approximately in that position there. Again, going to glue that in, and I'll glass over it. And then I, what I'll do is I'll use like a fairing filler to get a real nice thicker edge, and it's going to look a lot more professional and a lot stronger.
that's it that's all we can do for now so let's see it let that dry i'm gonna go right i don't have enough clamps to put all the side pieces on right now so i'm just gonna do this one first and then a bit later on this afternoon we'll add another couple